there are obvious advantages to using SSO. It's nice and convenient. You have your one single login that gets you into all the places. But if that thing gets compromised, that gives uh, an attacker unrestricted access to all the resources that it secures. Yeah, you're kind of like centralizing your security and you're just hoping that, hey, this thing is, uh, is what's going to keep us safe. But if it doesn't, uh, you could be royally screwed. And, you know, there have been vulnerabilities and SSO providers, you know, like Okta had one just, I think just literally last year, where if your password is too long, <laughs> it, it basically will accept any password, uh, which is, you know, I would say a very egregious vulnerability uh, for something that grants you access to secure infrastructure. And, uh, but you are centralizing not only security, but access. You know, if Okta has an outage, and then you can't access the services you really need. And if you're using it on internal services, you'll, you should always have like a backup of like accessing it in some other way that's not the IDP. So you're kind of not out of the woods, even if you are using SSL. You, you, you need to think about alternatives.